The U.S. could go into debt default as soon as two weeks from now. Doug Luzader explains the challenges preventing Republicans and Democrats from reaching a deal. Well, there have been meetings behind the scenes over the weekend, but we're not there yet. And the president wants this wrapped up as soon as possible. Mr. President, when is the debt uh, meeting with the leaders? In about 10 minutes. A joke from President Biden as he biked near his beach house this weekend, but behind the levity, serious warnings from White House officials as the U.S. has reached its borrowing limit. Defaulting on our debt isn't only about financial markets, it's about paying our Social Security recipients, it's about paying our troops, it's about paying the men and women who are working the border today. Congressional leaders from both parties did meet with the president last week, with Biden pushing for Congress to raise the nation's $31.4 trillion borrowing limit without conditions. Republicans, though, were trying to rein in spending so we don't have to keep raising the limit so frequently. The solution is not just massive uh, borrowing and massive spending. That's no solution. That's putting your head in the sand, and that's actually going to lead us to a much greater crisis down the road. The markets may start to get jittery as we near a deadline that the Treasury Department acknowledges is uncertain. But this could all come to a head as early as June 1st. I remain optimistic because I'm a congenital optimist. But I really think there's a desire on their part as well as ours to reach agreement. I think we'll be able to do it. But this is going to get tight. Even if this meeting happens at the White House tomorrow, the president is hoping to leave the very next day for the G7 meeting in Japan, a trip he may have to cancel if this isn't resolved. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.